Welcome to Idiot Box. Today we're talking about One Tree Hill. We're nine seasons in, 175 episodes have come and gone, and Jesse had never seen not even one episode of this show. Um, but he fancies himself a Sherlock Holmes and thinks he could put it all together by watching a single episode. Tell me, what do you think? Okay, so I watched season nine, episode two. One episode. Um, and from One. that, you can really learn a lot. Okay? okay, so we'll start with Dan, whose diner recently burned down. He was living there. He was also working as a chef because he'd, he'd sort of discovered this sort of nascent culinary desire on his part. Um, and after siring children across the country, um, you know, he had illegitimate children pop up, I'm pretty sure, in season two and season four. Now let's turn our attention to Alex, the singer, and her boyfriend, whose name definitely starts with a C. Chase. Chase, okay. So Chase has issues, right? He moves her into his apartment without telling her. Um, this indicates that his girlfriend died in a car wreck three seasons ago. Okay. Um, and then Alex herself, her singing ability is because her parental heritage is mixed up, right? So it must have been revealed at some point that the, the people that raised her were not her actual parents. Okay. Um, hence, do you, do you feel like Stephen Coletti is bringing his own pain to the role as, of Chase? Yes. No, I mean, he's doing, he's doing an okay job. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm reading his face. But he's doing a great job of showing that he has trauma. Mm -hmm. He's just repressing it. Right. Right. Um, I, and now we've got our, our sleep disorder guy, Clark Kent. Clay. Something Clay. Okay, same thing. Um, he's locking himself up all over town because he cannot sleep through the night. He hasn't done it yet. He wants to. This is a PTSD uh, <laughs> response, okay? He served in the military. Okay. He finally got out in season four, but now he's getting sort of like traumatic flashbacks from his time in Iraq. Oh, okay. Um, you can also tell because he dresses very natally, um, evidence of guy who's spent a long time in uniform. Right. Um, got it. Right, so there must have been like a, a giant plot point revolving around Quinn's sort of like presentation ball, right? This is a very southern thing. Obviously, the show's set in Atlanta. Um, wait, wait, wait. Atl why, why Atlanta? Well, they all speak with southern accents, and it's very sunny outside all the time. Well, all right. I think Jesse's got a, you know, pretty good understanding of One Tree Hill. What do you guys think? Why don't you guys fill him in in the comments below?